What's going on guys? Speeding Blue, back with another review. And you'll never guess what I found when I went to Walmart. I found Sonic Movie 3 figures and plushies. Unfortunately, the only figure that they had in the 5 inch, uh, figures I should say, was Sonic and Tails. I did grab Sonic, I didn't grab Tails, and the only 3.5 inch the 3.5 inch shadow was pretty much all they had for Shadow, aside from his plush. And they did have the talking figure. Reviews for those will be coming up soon when I get the chance to get them. Um, the 3.5 inch figure has just as much detail as every other every other one. Um, if you look here, in 3.5 inch they also have Dr. Robotnik, Sonic, and Knuckles from what I noticed at the store. Knuckles has a different face print, as well as Sonic, and Dr. Robotnik seems to be just the same. Now, as for the Shadow plush, the tuft of hair is very, very soft, and he has the Sonic Movie 3 logo. One thing I will point out is any renders that are used on this for the movie, as we can see here, they're just reused renders. Now, hopefully, when the movie comes out, we'll have updated imaging. Um, yeah, let's see what these figures look like, shall we? I mean, we can see what some of them look like. Like I said, there's not much to the plush. It's basically just a normal shadow plush, except for it's based off the movies. It has the details on his shoes from the movie, as well as on his arms. The face print, it's its meh. I mean, it's shadow for you. Tough to hair, really soft. As for the back, he has the three quills instead of the two, as does Sonic, which I'll point that out on the figure here in just a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it for the shadow plush. For the shadow figure, the 3.5 inch. Let's get into this and see what it looks like, shall we? So here we got the 3.5 inch shadow figure. Um, it's really not much different from any other 3.5 inch shadow figure aside from him being, well, he can stand good. That's a good deal. Um, I don't have a toy gun that I could give him, but if I find one before the end of this video, I will definitely see what he looks like with it in his hand. Um, the detailing on the shoe, I think they did great on this. I mean, from what have we seen on the models for Shadow for the movie, we haven't seen very much, obviously, but, you know, I think it looks great. I mean, I will say that he has the three quills just like Sonic does, and I think it's an awesome figure. Now let's check out the 5 inch Sonic figure, shall we? So we have the 5 inch Sonic figure. It's a little... There we go. That's better. So he has 22 points of articulation. He has one on each side for the hands to move out. Uh... The shoes can kind of swivel. His legs can move at an angle. And so can his feet. If you can get them to angle. There we go, I got it. Uh, he has a chest swivel, as does the rest of them from what I've seen with other reviews. But currently this is the only figure that I could get. But if I get other figures, I will review them most definitely. Um, just like the Mario figure, which I do have my Mario movie figure, um, if you turn them, obviously the eyes look like they follow you. The Sonic figure is just the same way. His eyes are a little bit different, though. So, here's the Sonic movie 3 figure next to my Sonic movie 2 figure. And there's a significant size difference, you know? And these are the 4-inch line of figures. This is 5 inch. They have different face prints. Uh, the quills, aside from there being three quills on his back and 
that's pretty much it. I mean, they're the same aside from this one. You can kind of see, like, like if you put your figure in the light, I guess it's supposed to look like his quills are lighting up like he's getting ready to run or something like that. Um, of course, as you know, since their hands open, you can put stuff in their hands and make them hold things. If I had a Chaos Emerald, I'd use that instead, but I don't, unfortunately. So, there's that. There you guys have it. Unfortunately, since I don't have very much to review, I'm going to have to cut it short. But, once I get more to review, I will in most definitely review them. That made no sense. Once I get more figures, I most definitely will review them. I promise. Okay, no promises, but still. But yeah, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how do I rate the plush? You know, it's better than most plush, I will say, that they've made for Sonic characters. So I give it a solid 7 out of 10. Uh, the 3.5 inch figures, you know, there's not much wrong with them aside from like a little bit of paint probably screw up on the bottom. Or like little paint screw ups that you might find. Or like mine, mine. It's hard to see on camera, but there's a little bit of black missing from the nose, you know. So I give the 3.5 inch line of figures, for at least for shadow anyway, I give it. Mm, about a 4 out of 10. Still good figures, don't get me wrong. Jack Pacific did a great job with this movie for the figures and plush. And for the 5-inch th uh, Sonic movie 3 figure, this is a solid 10 out of 10. I mean, it's a vast improvement. I mean, vast improvement from this figure. I mean, seriously, like, more articulation. At least it can stand on its own compared to this one. It's only doing that because of shit. Yeah, there we go. But yeah. I give this a 10 out of 10. I really hope the Sonic Movie 3 trailer comes out when it says it does. It's supposed to come out on Tuesday, apparently. But then again, earlier this week, we were told it was supposed to come out on one of the days this week. I can't remember which. But my point being is, these are great figures all together figures plush all together and if I had to say they're you know pretty much game act well movie accurate and I hope they release a second line of these five inch figures you know in maybe January after the movie's done I'd, I'd love to see it Jack Pacific if you're watching please release another line of figures if there's more characters to be revealed and plushies, if you can. But anyway, that's it for my review on Sonic Movie 3 figures. Uh, I will be doing more of these videos before Sonic Movie 3 comes out. Just gotta hunt them down. Without further ado, guys, thanks for watching.